Welcome to the Pedisco video tutorial on getting started in MYOB. This tutorial supports our MYOB practice sets written for students studying computerised accounting systems. Our online virtual tutor sets include automatic grading, ongoing feedback and algorithmic values to ensure each student has a unique practice set. Just like this unique video tutorial, we also offer some practice sets for free. For more information, more videos just like this, and detailed instructions on using MYOB, visit our Learning Centre at pedisco.com.au forward slash MYOB. In this tutorial, you will explore a sample company in MYOB, create a new company file in MYOB, and learn how to run reports in MYOB. Let's start with exploring MYOB using a sample company. The first thing you need to do once you have opened MYOB is to open the sample company. To do this, click the Explore the Sample Company button and click OK in the Sign On window. This will open the MYOB main window. Here we can see the menu bar with MYOB's main menu items and one of the main parts of MYOB you will use, the Command Center window. There are eight command centers in MYOB that can be accessed by clicking the appropriate command center icon. Let's click on the Sales command center. As we do, notice that the selection indicator changes to display the name of the command center that is currently open. Once you have opened a command center, you'll notice a flowchart containing the tasks that can be performed in the command center. Below the flowchart section are four options to allow you quick access to a range of tasks in MYOB. The Find Transactions window is useful if you need to search for a particular transaction, while the Reporting option allows quick access to a range of reports available in MYOB. However, most of the information entered into MYOB is done through the flowchart section of the Command Centre. Clicking on one of those tasks, such as Enter Sales, opens a new MYOB window where the information related to that task is entered. So now that we have explored MYOB a little, we can move on to the next step, creating a new company file. From the File menu, select New to open the new Company File Assistant, where you will simply answer the questions to create your company file. You can navigate through this MYOB Assistant by clicking the Next button or by clicking through the options to the left of the window. Note that if you are completing our MYOB practice set, you should carefully read the Creating the Company File page which tells you the information to input onto the new Company File Assistant when creating your company in MYOB. Now you have learned how to create your company data file, to finish this tutorial, let's just spend a little time learning how to run reports in MYOB. MYOB has many pre-programmed reports that users can run at the click of a button or two. To access these, click the Reports button at the bottom of the Command Centre. This opens the Index to Reports window, where you can search through the list of reports available in MYOB. These reports are organised under different tabs that generally correspond to the command centres in MYOB. When you open the Index to Reports window, MYOB opens the tab corresponding to the command centre you are currently in. Simply click on the relevant tab if you wish to view a different set of reports. You should take some time looking through all of the reporting options to familiarise yourself with the location of various types of reports in MYOB. To display a report, find it in the list and highlight it by clicking on it in the Name column. Then click the Display button. The report will open up in a new window. You can customise the options in the report by clicking the Customise button to open the Report Customisation window for that report. Depending on the report, you can customise options such as the dates covered by the report and the report level in the Advanced Filters tab. 
In the Finishing tab, you can select whether to include zero balances or account numbers in your report. Once you are satisfied with your selections, click Display where you can see the report with these changes. Note that you are able to customise your report before displaying it by ensuring the report is selected in the Name column, then clicking the Customise button in the Index to Reports window. Remember that there are often several ways to complete the same task in MYOB. Visit Pedisco's Learning Centre at pedisco.com.au forward slash MYOB learning to learn about these alternate ways or for more detailed information on the tasks covered in this tutorial. So that's a quick overview of getting started in MYOB. You'll find that we have covered exploring a sample company in MYOB, creating a new company file in MYOB, and learning how to run reports in MYOB. Now it's up to you. If you are doing the MYOB electronics practice set, good luck with your assignment.